So what's the best Battletech value to play at? That's the question we're going to ask in this vlog. And for me, it's a pretty easy answer. Let's do like 15K. You can never have enough battle value because we have our favorite mechs. We've got our combined arms. We've got our artillery. So many amazing mechs, amazing units that we want to play. There's just not enough battle value to field it all. But being practical, being practical, the two things that I look at with battle value and how I like to approach it is a balance of time and fun. Now, I say time because how much time do we have to play Battletech? I want us to reasonably be able to complete the game. Uh, and this is true of any war game that you play. We're sitting down. We want to see how the story unfolds. We want to see how things play out. We don't want to be in the middle of it or at that crucial moment and time's up or the store has to close or the gaming club has to pack up and put everything away. And it's like, look, can you give us another 30 minutes? No, you need like another two hours because you're playing 15K battle value. So going into a, a game, how much time do we play? Obviously, the more battle value you add, the more stuff that's going to be on the table. Although even that is sliding scale because there's battle value for inner sphere versus clans, right? 6K inner sphere versus 6K pure clans. There is a difference. So of course we adjust for that. But I want to be able to finish the game, see how things play out. There's also this idea of fun. What is the size of your collection? Now, when I go to the gaming store or the club, um, I have the mechs that I want to play. But I also bring all my other toys because maybe somebody else wants to play Battletech. Maybe you want to borrow a few of my mechs and try stuff out. Maybe you're just jumping into Battletech and while you're getting co your collection online... You want to try a bunch of different mechs and machines and tanks to see how they play. I say the size of the collection is important because this leads to the fun of the game. I don't want to say let's play 8K battle value. And you really don't have 8K effective mechs and machines. So I can bring a variety of stuff because I have a collection from playing a number of years and for you to meet 8K battle value, you put in filler. You put in stuff that's not optimized or stuff that you just don't want to play. So now, technically on paper, we have equal lists, 8K versus 8K, but your stuff is filler. It's not going to be as effective, and it's stuff that you really don't want to play. So I look at it from that perspective of how much time do we have? And this is the great thing about Battletech. If we have two hours, let's do like, Three mechs versus three mechs. If we have more, let's add more time. Let's add combined arms. If we really want to bring out something big in the collection, what do we want to play? But also looking and saying, well, let's play mechs, of course, because mechs are king. Mechs are key. But what about tanks? What about infantry? What about artillery? What about air support? Making sure that if we agree to play those things, you have them in your collection. If we bump up the battle value that you can reasonably fill out that into your collection. So that's, that's how I approach it. Um, in the past, when I've had the good fortune to visit other Battletech clubs, sometimes um, with the group meeting weekly, there's just kind of this understood rule. But it funnels into those two ideas of, well, we have four hours to play. We usually play at 6K battle value. So, so you know if you're going to show up, you just bring your 6K list you'll see there is a culture or there is a standard that evolves as you tend to play. But I would say no hard or fast rules. What do you feel like playing? How much time do we have? And what components do you have in your collection?